Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stop loss on the Crypto.com spot exchange. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I have some more Crypto.com tutorials on my YouTube channel, including a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Let's get into it. You can set a stop loss limit order or a stop loss market order. And I'll start out by demonstrating a stop loss limit order. So let's come up over here to the order panel. Let's toggle over to stop loss limit. Then we'll move from buy to sell. The first thing we need to do is identify a price point that we can set as a trigger price to tell crypto.com to place a limit order to sell our coins. So now let's come back over here to the chart. And just for fun, I'll grab a horizontal from the drawing tools here. And I'll go ahead and put it on the chart somewhere in this area right about here. Good enough for this demonstration. Now let's imagine that we're viewing that horizontal as support. We can see a wick getting down to that area right back here. We can see that price action got down to that horizontal here before the bulls tried to push price action back to the upside. And most recently, we see that price action is trying to hold that horizontal in this area right here. But maybe we're looking at that and we're thinking to ourselves, you know, if that level of support breaks, then maybe it becomes probable that Bitcoin's going to move to a lower price level. So perhaps we want to set a trigger price somewhere down below support that's going to tell Crypto.com to place a limit order to sell for us. Maybe we want to use this wick right down here as our line in the sand. So let's go ahead and mark that wick out with another horizontal, maybe something like this here. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart that there's a price point correlating to that wick coming in at 18,097. So let's come back up here to the order panel and let's type that into trigger price, but let's go just a little bit lower than that wick. So maybe we want to go 18,010 in this particular situation. Now we need to choose a limit price that we want crypto.com to place our limit order at. So we'll come back over here to the chart and I'll zoom back out just a little bit. And let's just imagine that we're looking at this wick right back here and we're thinking, you know what? Let's set that as our limit price to sell our coins. So of course, I'll go ahead and quickly mark that the horizontal. That way we can see a price point correlating to it on the Y axis of the chart. And we can see that that is coming in at 17,626. So let's come back up here to the order panel and in limit price, we'll type that in. 17,626. Now we have our trigger price and our limit price. So if price action reaches 18,010, our coins will be sold at the limit price of 17,626 or better from the order book. From here, we'll need to choose the quantity of the asset that we wish to sell if our trigger gets met. And for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and slide this up to 100%. Once you have the order set up the way that you want it, you just simply click on sell. Then you'll get a little stop loss limit order confirmation here. And in my case, it's letting me know that if the last traded price drops to or below 18,010, a limit order to sell my Bitcoin at a price of 17,626 will be placed. So it'll sell at 17,626 or better from the order book. If you're satisfied with the details, then you'd simply click on place order. Now I've placed that stop limit order. If price action begins to fall from here, getting through support and hits the trigger price right here, the coins will be sold down at this level here or better off the order book. You'll also be able to view the details of your open order down here under open orders. And if at any point you want to cancel this order, you can come over here on the right hand side and right underneath action, you'll find the cancel button. Just go ahead and give that a click. And as you can see, I just removed that stop loss limit order. A stop loss market order is similar to a stop loss limit order, except your coins will sell immediately at your trigger price. To set one up, we'd come back up here to the order panel. We'll click this little arrow beside stop loss limit. From the drop down menu, click on stop loss market order. Then we'll need to put in a trigger price. So let's use the same trigger price of 18,010. This gives us a little bit of breathing room. We don't want price action to come down to support, sell our coins and then bounce back inside the range. So going just a little bit lower than that level could increase the probability to avoid that situation. Now we'll simply choose the quantity of the asset that we wish to sell. I'll just do 100% again. Then once you have it set up the way that you want it, you'd click on sell. Once again, you'll get your stop loss market order pop-up window here. Confirm the details, make sure it's what you intended. And if it is, click place order. Now we've placed that stop loss market order. If price action gets down to our trigger of 18,010, the order will fill and we'll be selling our coins. 
If you want to cancel that order, just come back down over here to the bottom right hand side of the open orders panel underneath action, click cancel. And as you can see, I just removed that stop loss market order. And there you have it. That's how you set up a stop loss on the crypto.com spot exchange. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Feel free to check out some of my other crypto.com tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.